In this location, it is quite clear how the old trail built by Robert H. H. Huckman used to look like. The sturdy stairs and the rundown path into the wilderness are a demonstration of his work. The original bridge of Walnut Creek made it across and connected into the walkway along the bridge. You can still see the base structure of the old bridge. Under the bridge, you then see what we call riffles, a shallow part of the creek where it is a natural filter for debris, trash, and vegetation, including insects and fishes. When the rocks break the water in the creek, oxygen is then consumed into the creek for plants and animals to survive. In these riffles, crawfish and baby catfish are present. They help keep the water clean. Due to neglect, storms, erosion, and floods, the bridge has been removed. And so the new bridge came to be, and we are able to cross the creek today.